This is a brief tutorial on how to modify content on an existing WordPress website that uses the Divi theme from Elegant Themes. You can check out Divi, D-I-V-I, at elegantthemes.com. It's a really terrific building platform. It really, more than a theme, it kind of sits on top of WordPress like a building platform and allows a tremendous amount of flexibility to build with. For moments ago, you could see that I had updated some plugins, and now we're back at the main dashboard of a WordPress website. And by and large, most WordPress websites, the content thereon, are made up of either what are called posts or pages. That really makes up the bulk of, a, of most WordPress websites. And you can see if you look at the dashboard at a glance, we have here seven posts and 33 pages. And so let's take a look at how we might edit a post or a page. First, we'll take a look at all posts, and we'll go ahead and we're going to edit the first one that comes up here. Now, what we can see here is that this has come up over here in text mode. We want to take a look at it in visual mode as well, and that's a little bit more of what you see is what you get. This happens to be a post that includes information about a video. If we want to, we can change any text that's in here. Um, these, all of these various formatting functions are really quite a bit like a, a, a software like Microsoft Word. So you can, uh, the most basic style of, um, of content would be paragraph mode. You can also make this a heading one, heading two, heading three, etc. Um, you can bold text, you can italicize it, you can strike through, you can make it a bulleted list, you can make it a number. As you can see, there are a lot of different opportunities. I encourage you to play with that. If we take a look again at text mode, though, we'll see that this is sort of the underlying uh, code that there is to the, um, to the content that we're, we were looking at before in visual mode. If it's just plain text, you're just going to see plain text here. But then you can see that there would be different um, uh, coding in here behind the scenes. And by and large, if you're just kind of updating stuff and you don't need to worry about code, you never really need to go into text mode. Um, it is slightly intermediate uh, to advanced if you get back in here. Maybe there is some beginning stuff, but really most of the time you're going to be fine if you just come into visual mode and you edit away here. Now, let's say we wanted to add a photograph. Well, uh, to this post, what we would do is click on Add Media and we could go ahead and add a picture. And if we come over here to the right-hand side, it's going to say, well, how would you like to post that, or where would you like that to be? We're going to have that be left-aligned. We're not going to have the photograph linked to anything, but there are a variety of choices here. And we're going to have it insert in a medium size. We don't want the full size. That's a little too big. Large, think, is a little too big. We're just going to have medium. Go ahead, insert in the post, and you'll see that it magically appears. Now. If we wanted to take a look at how this is looking on the website, what we can do is come over here to the top of the page, click on Preview Pages, and you're not able to see this, but this is opening a brand new tab, and from that brand new tab, you can see what's going on on the page as you make the edits. Now, we can see that there's a problem in that this video is sitting on top of this um, image. So what we might want to do is come back to the editing mode, Add a few inserts, uh, line breaks. Go ahead and we'll hit preview again. Take another look and let's see if that changed things. Well, son of a gun, it did. So that's a very basic on how to add an image, uh, how to modify content. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll bold that. Look at that. Um, and uh, if we take another look at the preview mode, just for yucks, we can see that that has been bolded. So we've added an image, we've done very basic editing, and uh, but we want to make sure that we save this content because we went ahead and made these changes. So what we want to do in this instance is when we are on the editing page is we come over to the right hand column. This is kind of the default setup for WordPress um, in terms of this layout and we see that there is a button that says update. We go ahead and click on update. And once we've hit update, We'll get a message up here that says that the post was updated. 
and the post in fact is published we can see that it's available to the public to see so that all those updates that we just made are now live on the website they are not live on the public facing website until we click on this button that says update let's now take a very quick look at um, using the Divi Builder as I was saying at the beginning of this video the Divi Builder really sits on top of WordPress and it is a design platform. This theme is a, is a design platform uh, with a lot of plug and play or, or um, uh, drop in modules that uh, will allow you to really uh, have a lot of flexibility when it comes to design. This tutorial is not meant to teach you about all the different modules that there are with Divi. I encourage you to go look at Elegant Themes to learn about those. But it will show you the very basics of how to um, design and modify content using the Divi Builder. So let's go ahead and click it and you'll see that there will be a kind of a change here right away. All of a sudden, what looked before, like uh, just kind of plain text there, we can see what it was, now has this Divi Builder. Um, window here and it all looks a lot different. We can't see any of the content anymore and that's because um, it again it is this platform now that we are using to design. So with Divi there are three main parts of any particular component uh, that you're developing on a, a website post or page and that is the section and that will be seen in the blue uh, bar here there are rows, and you can see that this is asking us right here to add another row if we want to, and the controls for the row are in this green area. And then there are individual modules, and you can see we could add another module here if we wanted to, and that, um, that is where the content is inside the modules. And so if we wanted to edit that text that we saw before, um, indeed, what we would do is click on this little menu, sometimes called the hamburger, uh, the three horizontal lines. That gives us a little pop-up. It says module settings, and we would be able to edit the text that is there. Before we do that, though, I want to show you a couple of cool things. One is, with whether we're talking about a section, a row, or a module, we have some options here in terms of what we can do with them. First up is we can click on the settings, and we can see what it all looks like. Fabulous. Next up is if we wanted to, we can clone this section so we can create another section that looks exactly like this section. I'll show you what happens. Click on it and look at that. Another one miraculously appeared right below it. And that leads us, of course, to the third item on the bar here, which is I don't want that to be cloned. I'm going to delete it. And so we can delete it just by clicking on the X and it goes away. Just like with sections, the same thing happens with rows. We can edit all the settings to our heart's consent of this uh, row, or we can clone it if we want to. It shows up in the same section. Um, we don't want to, so we're going to get rid of that. Um, or um, we can change the structure of it if we want to. And again, that's going on a little bit uh, more advanced than we want to get to right now, so I'm not going to spend time on it. But I just wanted to, wanted to point out that there are these basic ways that we edit this. But what we originally said we were talking about at the start of this video was how to edit the actual content on the video. And that happens within each kind of module. Now, um, I just wanted to show you that with these modules, if we were to insert a new one, this will show us all the different options we have for Divi modules that we can just plop right in here. So I'll click on it to show you that there are all these different styles of modules. Um, I don't know how many it is, maybe 30. 30 to 40 different modules that we can include. The one that is there right now is text. Um, that is the most common one, but by all means I would encourage you to play around with these different styles of modules because you can really get different looks on your website uh, for different types of content and uh, have all sorts of really fun stuff to get out of here. We're just going to hit this X over here. We did not add a new module, but what we want to do is we want to edit the text that was on this page. And just to show you, by the way, that nothing has changed, um, even though we're using the Divi Builder now. I'm going to click on Preview Changes again, and you will see that the page looks exactly the same as it did before. There's no change on the front end of the website. Um, the change is only on the back end and how you modify content. So if we click on this text uh, hamburger menu item, we'll see 
that uh, we have some choices with the text. We can change different elements. And if we come down to this area into here, this is where you can see it really looks like what it looked like before, prior to the time that we were using the Divi Builder. This is where the information is that we had it. And so if we wanted to, we can say, you know what, I don't want that bolded. Um, actually, I would like to um, I would like to italicize that. I'm going to italicize the whole thing. So I'll go ahead and click on italics. And you know what? I don't want that to be a paragraph. I'm, I want this to be bigger. I want it to be a heading. So now, here's another little change between Divi and between um, not using Divi. To save this, we want to hit Save and Exit. And that saves our changes within Divi. So we'll go ahead and hit Save and Exit. And then if we hit Preview, we will see that this is now italicized and it's bigger because that's what we did. It's now a header. It's not uh, just plain paragraph text anymore. But if we want to save that, remember, for the public-facing world uh, and the website so everybody can see that, we want to go ahead and hit Update. So we'll click on Update here, and that is going to make sure that the page is updated with the changes that we put into place. So let's say we wanted to add a little bit of text in a separate area, um, not just in here, but some more text. We can go ahead and hit another module, click on that. We'll come down to where it says text, and we'll say this is the, the second bit of text we added. But it will go first. So now this is the second stuff we added, right? But we want this to go first. So to remind ourselves, um, we'll scroll right here in the administrative label. If you see that, um, that's just for us. That's not going to appear anywhere on the on the website that the public can see. Um, text for the top because we're putting this in the first place. And remember that the other one said text here too for an admin label and we want to be able to distinguish to distinguish between the two. We'll hit save and exit. Ah, and there it is. That's what we just created, the text for the top. Except the problem is right now it's below this text. No problem though. All we have to do is grab it while we have those four uh, arrows pointing and we can depress it with a left uh, mouse click and bring it up and bring it above. If we want to take a look at that, we will hit preview again. We'll come back here to see what it looks like, and we can see that that top part of the text, or that additional text we added, is now at the top, as exactly as we wanted. But remember, if we want the rest of the world to see it, we want to make sure that we click on Update. So, we've gone through, uh, in about uh, 12 minutes, 13 minutes, how to go about editing a post um, in WordPress, either not using the Divi Builder or and also using the Divi Builder. Uh, we've done some very simple edits. Um, and just to let you know, we talked in the beginning about posts and pages. When you're using the Divi Builder um, for a website, pages, you'll see if we come to pages, we'll look at all the pages and we'll edit uh, the first one. Let's see. Oh gosh, I'm trying to see a See one that I could use here. Oh, I don't know, maybe mortgage calculator. We'll edit this one. Anyway, my point is I just wanted to show you that this whole area right here looks almost identical to what it looks like if you're editing a post. So pages and posts are not dramatically different in terms of how you will edit them, edit the content that is on them uh, when you are using or when you have a website that is using the Divi theme or the Divi builder.